Fan.fm. I am DJ Zwayne, and welcome to The Hijack. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of the program. The program is brought to you by the N.FM. It's brought to you by uh, my DJing every week. I DJ at West End Trading Company. You can check me out there. And by viewers like you. I wanted to start the show uh, by wishing everybody a happy Hispanic Heritage Month. We're going to be talking about the death of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, we're going to talk about the Red Hot Chili Peppers show that I DJed the VIP party for. It was so fantastic. Such a great time. Thank you to those who showed up and hung out, and thank you to those who recommended me for it. You know who you are. As I was getting ready for the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers VIP party, management hit me up. They wanted to play, uh, make sure that I wasn't going to play music that was riddled with uh, profanity. And the reason was because there were some kids coming to the show, which I think is awesome and hilarious at the same time. It's awesome. Because this is a generation of parents who are showing their kids some of the great music of our generation, which I think is kind of cool. But also, it trips me out because if you would have told me that the band whose bassist was known for playing naked, who also have the lyrics, I put my finger in and your monthly blood is what I win, or standing there with my heart on bleeding, that's a devil in my dick and some demons in my semen. Their management was going to make sure that my music didn't have a ton of profanity. (laughs) I just found that hilarious. Uh, But either way, it was a great show. Uh, And I really enjoyed being able to play, to just be in the pit afterwards. Being being in the pit was great. So thank you to Live Nation for having me out there. And uh, I can't wait to do it again. I can't wait, uh, I can't wait to be, uh, to be able to participate in one of your concerts once again. Also, and, This is not the most important thing, but ladies and gentlemen, this is a public service announcement from a concert snob, okay? If you're going to a show, don't be that guy or gal. Don't be that person. Don't be that person that wears the shirt of the band that you're going to go see. I don't make the rules. I just, every time I see somebody wearing one of these shirts of the band that they're going to see, I I, I get a little sad. Do what you want. Do, Do what you feel like doing. I'm just letting you know what goes on in my head and in some snobs' heads. So, again, it's a snob thing. Do what you want. 